This week I wanted to share with you some content from my course Triads Inside Out. So this is one of the two courses that I have in my online school and it focuses, as the name suggests, upon triads, the three note chords. In the lesson you're about to see, we're looking at a great exercise to help learn your open voice triads. So open or spread voicing triads are those that extend beyond one octave and there are many different ways that you can play these. What you're about to see is how you can go about learning these spread voicings with a chord progression. So let's check it out. Now for this exercise, you must choose yourself a chord progression. We're gonna keep things simple as we get started with a one four progression in the key of C major. So that's gonna be the chords of C going to F. The exercise then is to start with the first chord as low in pitch as you can possibly play. For that reason, it's very important that you are familiar with the notes which make up the triad in the progression you're working with. So for a C chord, that's the C, E and G, and then F, we have F, A and C. So we want to play a C triad to start with, but as low as we possibly can, so the lowest note. The lowest note on the fretboard then will be the open E string. So we're gonna to look to play a C major first inversion using the open E. So I'm gonna go for this grip. Now as we do this, just know there are more than one way to play each chord. It's for you to kind of decide to work out with your particular playing style, which fingerings suit you best. So I'm gonna start with the C over E in the first inversion. Then as I go to the F chord, I'm gonna to look to play the F as close to this grip as possible. I'm gonna be moving up on the bass each time to the next chord tone. So as I move to the F, the next chord tone as I go up will be the F note in the first fret of string six. If I grab that note, then the, the open voicing that comes to the fingers is, is that. I've kept the finger three still as we move. So that's the first chord pair. And we're gonna do this with a beat. I'll demonstrate that in the next video. But we go back to the C, but we continue to ascend. We continue to climb up the fretboard. So the next chord tone in the bass above the F will be the G. So now we're gonna do a C triad with a G bass. So I would go G bass and looking to do a C triad, I could do this. Or I'm gonna to look to do this one. So the second inversion, C over G. So that's this third chord, and then going to the F again, I continue to climb on the bass. So it's gonna take me to the A note, so I'm gonna have a first inversion, F triad, F over A. It's gonna be something like that, keeping that C note up on string three, so C over G to F over A. Then again, I keep climbing, so I, the A note in the bass will go up to the next chord tone of the C chord, which will be the C. I'm gonna change strings as I do so, so C and then open voicing, it's gonna be that one that I like. So from this chord, as I go on to the F chord, we're gonna be sharing a common tone. The F and the C chord both have the C bass note. So when that happens, when you're working this exercise, you keep the bass note still as you go into the next chord. So we're gonna next play an F over C. But the grip that I like to go for will be this one. I you say, hey, but you've just changed. Well, I haven't because that C is the same note. And the fret three of string five is the same as fret eight of string six. So the bass note has stayed the same, all right? So C and then F over C. So together that was C over E to F. be on the C chord again, um, but from the E note, keep always climbing. C over E goes into the F triad, and then we're hitting into probably something like C over G, and then F over to A, and then you keep on climbing until it becomes, basically you run out of space. We're gonna take it up as high as the F in the 15th fret, and then you descend, you do exactly the same thing. You're constantly descending with the bass note and looking to play an inversion around that bass note. Again, if, if the chords share a common tone, you stay on that bass note as you change 
into the next chord. So I'm gonna demonstrate that in the next video, the full sequence of chords. And remember, there's more than one way to do this. You can use this as a template, as guidelines, but then explore these shapes, try and come up with the best combinations for your technique and also try it in different keys and with different progressions. As you write a progression, try and play it with some open voicings and really explore these shapes. So there you are, a great exercise to learn your spread voicing triads. If you did enjoy that, please don't forget a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And as you do so, don't forget to ring that bell. If you'd like to find out more, I am offering a 25% discount on Triads Inside Out and my other course, Guitar Robustus Essential Theory. You can find those links in the description box. And there you will also see a link to download your free copy of Fretboard Mastery. This is my free ebook on learning the notes of the fretboard in just a few days. So there will be tabs for this lesson available to all my supporters on Patreon, where for as little as $3 per month, you can help support the channel and get exclusive access to principles from both my Instagram feed and YouTube channel. So thank you guys, you have a great week, and I'll see you next time.